All right, what's on the bench today? So this, uh, I, I received that big box from Mike's Radio Repair, and I've been pulling things out one by one, and this is the next thing in, in the archeology span of going down layers and layers into the box. And he has this one, he put a note on it, possibly the best box in the lot. So he claims this is the coolest thing he gave me. <laughs> so <laughs> let's take a look at it. Um, this is very interesting, just this alone. A third class mail, when's the last time you heard anything called third class mail parcel post? Um, this came from the Sperry Corporation, Sperry Rand. It's, it's, it's in a, I, this is like, it needs to be in the museum. It's very Sperry information displays, uh, uh, in Scottsdale, Arizona. And I don't know who Walter Scott was. This is in 1972. Okay. So this was mailed to this guy in 1972. Man, that's a long time ago. I was in high school. I think I was just, just entering high school. <laughs> yeah. Oh, reference number form 0044. Uh, so if, if anybody's into vintage stuff, they already know about Sperry. Uh, this is going to be cool. So uh, let's open this up. It's this top. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. There's a box inside a box, inside a box, and oh, foam says top. All right. Don't want anything to fall out. All right. Let's get rid of that there. Top. Lift this. Oh, there we go. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, this is like the Holy Grail. This is, <laughs> this is what everybody dreams of. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Wow. Wow, these are lovely displays. These are lovely displays. All right, everybody's screaming at the uh, at the camera. These are Panaplex displays. Yes, and it's a it's like an assortment of everything that Sperry made, from little ones to big ones. They might, I think they made some bigger ones too. So, but this is some some type of assortment that was that was sent out. Uh, you get two of these, three of these, two of the, well, no, these are all different. Oh my goodness. Every single one is different. These might be the same. I don't know. Wow. Let's take one out. Let's take out a big one. So it'll photograph easier. All right. Yeah. So these are Panaplex displays. Uh, otherwise known as, some people would call them a vacuum fluorescent, but that's kind of not really true. These are, uh, they're vacuum and they do fluoresce, but they're neon. They're like little neon bulbs, but they're segmented. So the, the, uh, the uh, cathodes are little strips of metal. So they will light up like a neon light bulb, but only on the segment. So it's a seven segment display, but high voltage. Um, and yeah, you can see the, uh, uh, wow. We need to get this. We need to get closer. I got to show you this stuff closer. All right. So, um, you can see, I'll try to get the glare on it there. It says Sperry etched into the glass there. Um, and you can see the little glass nib here. So the vacuum is pulled out and then the nib is, is, uh, is melted shut. And then there's all of the cathodes and uh, all the pins bring, bring, being brought out. These are the anodes, that little thing there, there, and there. Those are the anodes. And I'm not sure why that has a circle around it. I don't know if that's some type of getter or it's just... I don't know what that is. Um, and so these pins here would be, uh, I don't want to point with my fingers. Um, these pins here would be the anode. So it has three anodes and then a whole bunch of cathodes. And the cathodes would be the seven segments plus a decimal point, which is in the shape of a triangle. Uh, that's interesting. Wow. These are super cool. <laughs> these are so cool. Thanks, Mike. <laughs>
<laughs> I know he knows me and he knows what I like. Yeah, look at these. Oh, beauty. Joy forever. Yeah. So same kind of thing on the bottom. Two anodes and a bunch of cathodes. Uh, these run, I don't know if I mentioned it, these run at about 160 volts, I think. Uh, and so they require some juice to go. So this one has a plus and minus one and then a, a digit. Uh, this one has just two digits. I can get another light over here so we can... Does that help any at all? No, it doesn't really help. Um, this one here is just three digits with three decimal places. Yeah. Let's put these back in their little in their little homes here and I'll just bring the I'll bring the whole box over. Uh, so we looked at these. Uh, these seem to be the same. This one seems to be a little smaller, but basically the same. These are sort of like these. They're plus and minus one and then two digits. And those are just segments. Um, it has some drive, some drive, uh, high voltage drive. So Sperry built their own, or they had somebody build it for them, uh, driver. So these are probably high voltage seven segment decoders. This would be, would be my guess. Um, so we'll have to find a data sheet for those. Wow. And then there's some spacers here. Uh, oh, sockets. Oh, these are sockets. Oh my goodness. <laughs> these are probably rarer than anything on earth. Uh, sockets for Panaplex displays. Oh my goodness. Oh, there's sockets on all of these. Every single one of these types has a, has a socket, little bitty sockets. Oh, look at all, look at all the sockets. Oh, this is a beauty. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. And then, and then <laughs> a power supply. Five volts in and 160 volts out. Uh, just three pins on it. So, yeah. Oh, wait a minute. Adjustable. <laughs> Very cool. <laughs> you can adjust it on the side there. That's pretty nice. Okay. Very good. Uh, put that back in. Now, this is all beat up here. So obviously, this has been loved many times. <laughs> This is, these things have been in and out of this little box many, many times, and there's probably drool all over them. Uh, oh, this one's got a number on it. That's interesting. Why does this one have a number? Oh, it's a, uh, can you see that? It's uh, got Sharpie. It's got Sharpie in them. Were Sharpies even around in 1972? I don't know how old Sharpies are now. Hmm, I have to, have to look that up. Wow. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Can you imagine how much this would have been? How much money this would have been in 1972? I mean, these were like state of the art stuff. Uh, this would have been for like aerospace or something, right? You wouldn't have, you wouldn't have considered using Sperry for, I don't know, for something that's just mundane, right? This would have had to been a very expensive product that these guys went into. Uh, wow. Wow. Okay. I'm amazed. I think uh, Mike was right. This is possibly the coolest thing in the box by way, way, way far ahead of anything else. Oh my goodness. All right. So we will have to do some videos on these things. I will see if I can get them to light up and if I can get them to light up, there, there are just light bulbs. So as long as you have a high, um, high voltage supply, and I do have a high voltage supply. Let me show that to you. So I know there's one supplied in the box, but I do have this nice, uh, uh, Kikusui, uh, 160 volt power supply. So I can put it to good use. Okay. Well, isn't that lovely? Uh, this is a very, very cool thing. Yes, indeed. All right, well, uh, we'll end this video, but I will see if I can't turn anything on.